And this morning, millions of people along the East Coast are getting ready for a powerful nor'easter. And that same system that will bring us the cold blast mm -hmm. this weekend. CBS 4's Bradley Blackburn is live in New York with the latest. Bradley, good morning. Candace Maribel, good morning. Yeah, get your coats and jackets, scarves ready because the cold is coming for you. You remember the big storm that hit the mid-Atlantic a couple weeks ago? Well, now those blizzard conditions are headed to the northeast. Uh, here in New York, there were some flurries overnight, but the big storm is still tracking our way, and a huge part of the country is getting ready. The salt is out, the shovel's ready, as a massive winter storm takes aim at the east coast. And you're stocking up with groceries? Yeah, just ahead of time because um, you never know what happens. It's always better to be prepared. The storm is expected to track just off the eastern seaboard. Winter storm watches have been issued from North Carolina all the way to Maine. The exact path could still shift, but on New York's Long Island, officials are asking residents to get ready for the worst. Let's think about getting prepared, getting ready, getting smart and being safe. Those are the key things we need to remember for this weekend. Forecasters say the storm will hit hardest on Saturday, dumping as much as two inches of snow an hour. New York City could see a half foot or more on the ground, but the heaviest snow is expected in New England. Boston could see two feet or more, and when the storm arrives, it may be as a powerful nor'easter with hurricane force winds and sub-zero wind chills. It sounds like there'll be power outages um, just because of the heavy winds. They're predicting 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. And there's no relief down south. Much of Florida is expected to see below freezing temperatures that could set new records. And I know you've been talking about those cold temperatures that are headed to South Florida. So much of the country bracing for this storm right now. And by the way, the National Weather Service says the final track of the storm isn't certain. It could move closer to the coast, and that would mean even more snow. In New York, Bradley Blackburn, CBS 4 This Morning.